It's Craig, it's like radio, and uh, it's great to catch up with uh, Static, Ben L, and Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas. How are you guys? You all right? Yeah, chilling. How are you doing? I'm all right. And I tell you what, I am absolutely loving this single, Shake Your Boom Boom. What a what a great track. Stack it, Static and Bell, Ben, how did you get together to start off with? I mean, the track started when we were in the States, actually. We started, uh, it was actually the first track we ever did yeah. in, in America. So the first day that we landed in the States, they, they put us in a studio, and that was the first hook that ever came out. Yeah. And us and Will, we have mutual friends. So he heard the track, oh, right. yeah. and he loved it. And we were like, is this really happening? Because we got the call, Will I Am, and the Black Eyed Peas want to be on the song. And we're like, what? And then they had us FaceTime, Will, and we were like, yep, it's really him. That is who I am. And I mean, uh, it must have been a, history, I guess. It must have been a great feeling that you actually got that call and you're working with the Black Eyed Peas. I mean, the, the single is is fantastic. Who actually, Thank you. you know, who idea was the single? Was it was it you guys, uh, Static and Ben? Did you write the lyrics and then say to Will and the Black Eyed Peas, like, what do you think about this? We came up with our part and the hook. And then Will, when he heard the song, he was like, okay, it's time to put my gloves on and digest and dissect everything here. And he opened up the whole project. He switched the whole beat. He moved parts. He threw stuff away. He brought other stuff back. I mean, when we, when we heard the song after he changed it, we were like, what? Yeah. But it's, I could tell you that it's, it was, it's way better now than it was before. That's good. Yeah. The man's a right genius. Thing to say. Say? <laughs> Will, how long did it take you to actually uh, change it around and come up with the tune that it is now? How long did that take you? Um, it, it, it took about like a couple of hours, but it's, um, you want to be very delicate, right? Because like, you, you, it's a very thin line between reimagining somebody's work mm. and being disrespectful so it's a very delicate thing so at first i was like you know i really want to be a part of this song it's really awesome let me throw my suggestions and move things around so it seemed like we wrote it at the same time because there's a lot of times when people collaborate you know they weren't in the room together and there's just a verse here and a verse there. But I really believe like this song sounds like we were all in the same room. Mm. I'm like, loving I, I wrote I wrote from the perspective of what was just said, what's about to be said, you know, and moving things around to where like, oh wow, I if I was in the room, I I would have said this after you said that, right? Yeah. And just like the the puzzle work. And then praying and hoping that the guys were open minded and um and not and the guys are great awesome collaborators um i'm really happy with the, what the results the video is fantastic and they're great to work with i want to talk Thanks. about the video i mean is amazing whose idea was it to to shoot it as on a, a phone whose idea was that to come up with that video idea you should blame will <laughs> well your fault <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah like what do you do when you when there's no studios what do you do when there's no sets yeah what do you do when the, when there's no like when you can't do casting? What do you do when when you can't rehearse for choreography? Mm. Like all the things that go into like making videos. What do you do when there's no like when the, your stylist can't go to all these stores and pull wardrobe? Yeah. So you one you have to use the clothes you have in the closet. Yeah. Like what do you do? <laughs> Two you got to figure out like how to get the dancers to film them from their phone, but everybody does it every day, right? Everybody's mm. on their phone all the time. Right? Yeah. And, I, I, and how do you make sure that it doesn't just look like somebody compiled a whole bunch of like social feeds and threw it together in a video? Yeah. So it's a, it's a good idea, but executed poorly, it would have been horrible. I want to talk about the video. There's a bet I, I checked out on the video. There's a, there's a cake. Now that cake, I've paused it a couple of times. Is 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 that a, a bottom, that cake, please, on the video? Can I ask? Well, that's what cake is in, in, <laughs> in like urban terminology. Like that girl got, she got cakes. Like we know what cake is, right? <laughs> I looked at it and paused. I thought, well, I'm sure that's what I think it is, but I'm going to ask anyway, just in case. Yeah. So yeah, that's cake. 
<laughs> cake cake. <laughs> that what it means. Mm-hmm. It's a great- yeah, because like what what like what do you do when you can't have like big booty girls in the video? <laughs> like shaking cake. So might as well just have cake. <laughs> <laughs> There you That's go. That's so horrible. That's horrible. But I do like the video. It's shot in a great place. You're in. The, you're on. You know. You're in the sunshine. You're in a pool. They've got some great dance moves. How did you choose the social influencers to get involved with the video? How did you choose the, the right ones to get involved? I don't. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't do the hunting. Did you not? That was static. No, it wasn't. Oh wow! I don't know who did it. I don't know. I don't know how we got their influence. I don't even know how they did it. How they chose them? <laughs> well, they were very good anyway. That's all I can say. Very, and, very good. And, and checking out as well. There's loads of other people. I've been on YouTube, and there's loads of other people actually uh, having a go at the dance routine, which which is great. It must be a great feeling when you see it's going viral, and everybody else is is doing the dance to something that you've created. Yeah, I mean, and there's a, there's a there's a guy named No 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 MSG. Um, who directed the video. I've known him for a really long time. He did a really awesome job like mm. executing it, executing the idea and then adding and making sure that it just wasn't super basic. Um, so shout out, shout out to no MSG. And do you, do you think with COVID it's changed the way that people are now consuming music? Cause this video is something that we needed. The song is something that we needed. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of lightheartedness as well. Do you think that, uh, coronavirus has changed how we're, we're going to consume music in the future on social media. Yeah, there's nothing else to watch on Netflix. It's, we've seen everything, right? Yeah. We've seen every all the... The only thing that's constant is music. Hmm. Like every Tuesday, the new songs. Every, every Tuesday, every Friday, there's a new song and a new video. Like our industry keeps pumping them out. Yeah. And as far as like you know, films, documentaries, and like series, those things take a long time. You need to go out into the world. So thank God for music right now. It is what we need. And, you know, what are your guys' plans for the future? I mean, Will with the Black Eyed Peas, what have you got coming up in the future? Anything, any other plans for you guys? New Black Eyed Peas album project this year. Yeah. If you haven't checked out our last stuff, check out Translation song a girl like me we have right now with shakira that's out yeah which is a cool tune by the way we are playing that at the moment which is really good oh thanks great that's all right it's really good and static and ben what have you got planned for the future i mean for us it's mostly hush hush super secret but i could tell you that we're gonna have uh we're gonna drop an ep pretty pretty soon with like six songs and one big single so we're working man we're grinding the studio yeah no, it's great. And like I say, the song is exactly what we needed. It is that lift that we, we all need at this time of year. And hopefully we can get back to gigs. When are you guys actually thinking of getting back on the road again? When can you see that happening? Well, Will said that it, <laughs> it won't happen till 2022. So um, I don't know what I feel about that. Do you reckon 2022, Will? Do you reckon that'll be the, the time we can start seeing gigs back again? Yeah, because I was just thinking about like last year, right? So this time last year, China was in lockdown mm. and we had tours scheduled. Yeah. So we, were, we, were, we were supposed to tour all of Europe um, off the backs of like Ritmo and Mamacita. Um, and then we were going to go to South America, Central America. And then that didn't happen, right? Yeah. And then September, there were no tours planned for this year. Mm. So now here we are a couple of weeks away from spring and there's no spring shows. No. And right now you're supposed to be booking your summer tours. Mm. You're supposed to be booking summer tours right now. Yeah. But we're not. No. So that means there's probably no summer tours. No. Because you have to get all the insurance. You have to get all the freighting and the travel. You got to get the hotels. You got to get all that stuff, right? Yeah. That's not going to, we're not going to tour like summer. There's no Glastonbury this year, right? No, nothing, nothing like that at all. So this means maybe everybody rushes and for for a fall. Yeah. But until we until April comes, we're not gonna know question marks for fall. No. And then like winter tours, you're probably not gonna want to then go make money in the winter, uh, like in you no know, beginning of winter, like December. Um 
because it'll be cold out. And then back then it's 2022. Yeah. And then it it'll will. be COVID again. Hopefully the whole world would have been vaccinated. Yeah. But, and, and maybe like, like Israel is like 25% vaccinated, you said, Static? Exactly. Yeah, it's a quarter. So if you're planning on having that Israeli tour, this is the year for you. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you don't have shows anywhere else, do you? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to hit up. This is the year, bro. <laughs> this is the year. Everybody's going to Israel now. That'll be it. There'll be nothing anywhere yeah. else except for Israel. That'll be the yeah. place. Well, guys, it's been great catching up. Uh, good luck with the single. I, I do love it. I recommend if you haven't tried the dance routine yet, you do give it a go. I've not tried the dance routine, by the way. I've not put anything on TikTok because my my lockdown weight gain, I would take the wall down behind me if I tried it. And I'm I'm not going to do that. Trust me, I ain't going to do it. But it's been great catching up. And uh, we will speak again soon. Shall we play the track? Absolutely. Yeah, let's do that, Craig. Thank you. Who wants to introduce it? Which one of you wants to do it in that typical radio Static. style? <laughs> Will wants to do it. I think Will wants to uh, do it. Oh, static, static, static. All right, here we go. I'll start it off. Will. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? It's Will I Am. What's up? It's Static and Benel, and you're about to listen to <laughs> Shake Your Boom Boom. Let's go.